Hey everybody, it's week eight in this low carb adventure that we're on. Um, <clears throat> so I have had some questions get sent to me and some issues that have been sent to me. So I'm going to address those really quick. Well, well, first let's address the weight thing. So I am down 1.7 pounds, I think this week. Yay. Um, finally, the weight loss is going up again. Um, I think I'm in a really nice groove right now when it comes to what I'm eating um, I'm just not, I'm not craving anything. So I'm not, I'm not struggling at all. I have noticed for me that if I eat after five, six, seven o'clock at night for any reason, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's a handful of nuts, a bite of avocado. It doesn't matter what it is. My blood sugars are higher in the morning and it seems like it takes me longer to get into the fat burning stage. So I've got to cut myself off like say five o'clock or so, like right around now, cut myself off and stay cut off for the rest of the night. Tea tea, water, whatever. I mean, that's it. And I have been cutting out my sweeteners because even though stevia is supposed to be a, a sweetener that does not raise your blood sugar, the other day I had nothing but black coffee and sugar and my blood sugar or, or stevia and black coffee and my blood sugars were crazy high. Yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of iffy about that one right now. So somebody sent me a message and they said, what if I hate all vegetables? Okay. Well, if you hate all vegetables, every vegetable there is, how did you ever become vegan? Uh, fair question, right? Because if you literally hated every single vegetable, what have you been eating? And so I sent her back a, a message and I said, well, tell me what you do eat. What do you eat every day? And it was, it was pretty kind of sad. And I, and I told her that, I mean, we've already had this conversation. She knows I'm bringing it up and she, she knows you, you guys don't know who she is. So it's no big deal But um, she eats the prepackaged, well, like prepackaged oatmeal she was eating and all that kind of stuff. And she was eating um, the prepackaged meats like guardian meats and morning star meats and, and things like that. And not really any vegetables. I mean, she doesn't even like salads. So we finally got down to where she, she said she likes, um, Cucumbers, lettuce. Oh, I don't remember what the other one was. There was one other thing. And um, I said, then just eat those. Just eat those. Just eat those with your um, protein. And that's another thing is she's struggling with her proteins because the only protein she likes are the really high carb vegan proteins. Here's the thing is when you're vegan, you're if you're not careful with your proteins, if you don't do some research and find out which proteins are, you know, really good, clean proteins for vegans, plus don't have a lot of carbs, you're gonna get a lot of carbs with some of them. Like, 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 I'm not afraid of tofu. A lot of people don't want to eat tofu. They don't want to eat soy. Organic, organic tofu is perfectly lovely for your protein needs and stuff. And it's not overly high carb. Um, there are some of the beyond meat and impossible meats that are lower in carbs and don't have too much junk in them. My biggest problem with the prepackaged stuff is they have a lot of oils and fats and, and yes i i understand that low carb usually means higher fats but i don't want to eat a bunch of just fat okay i just don't that's not my thing if i'm going to get my fats i'm going to get avocados olives healthy foods <laughs> you know that's how i want to get my fats i don't want to get it by mainline and um coconut oil or avocado oil or any of that stuff so now now i do also eat some of the beyond meat and impossible meat stuff. So I'm not saying you should never have it. I just don't think you should depend on it for everything. And again, because it does also have carbs, it's going to do your carb uptake. Now for somebody who is only going to eat one or two different kinds, like, like, let's say that if all you're going to have is lettuce at your meals, <laughs> then, then those meats aren't going to hurt you at all <laughs> because the carbs that are in them is not going to matter. Okay. Because the lettuce has really nothing in it. Um, and I was showing somebody in our group the other day that one of the things that I've been doing is, is I like steamed celery. I know, shoot me. Um, I like steamed celery. And what I've been doing is when I get hungry after my meal, if, if for some reason I still feel like I'm snacky and I need some, is I've been eating steamed celery. Okay. It works for me. It won't work for everybody. If you have uh, something like that that you like, try it. Try to see if that will work for you. I mean, we, anything's better than totally going off the deep end. Okay. So just see if it'll work for you maybe. Um, if you don't like eating vegetables, how, how I just, like I said, I don't know how you end up being vegan or vegetarian or whatever it is you are. This would be much easier to do if you're not vegan, because then you could just eat meat and not worry about it. I personally would never do that because I think that's gotta be God awful unhealthy. 
I believe we eat vegetables. We need the antioxidants. We need the, you know, the vitamins, the minerals, um, the fiber. We need all that stuff, you know. So I just don't see how some people go through their life with no vegetables. And I'll tell you a sad story. I had four brothers. I say had because two of them have passed. They were all younger than me. And the youngest one, his his eating habits were atrocious. He had a saying, meats and treats, meats and treats. He liked anything with sugar. He liked any kind of pastry, any kind of candy, any kind, anything like that. He would eat just those little Debbie boxes of uh, different sweet treats in them. He could eat a whole box of those by himself. And he did all the time. And he loved meat. He loved hamburgers. But he would order a hamburger. He would order it with hamburger, cheese, and mayonnaise, and nothing else. No vegetables of any kind. He used to tell me all the time, I hate green things. I hate green food. I hate green food. He died when he was 42 years old of a massive heart attack. Not a lie. And my second, my middle brother, that was probably my favorite, he died at, I think he was 50. It was, a, it was just a couple years later that he died of a heart attack. And again, he didn't like vegetables. <laughs> You know, so it's like, oh, oh, I just want to slap both of them. So, you know, you guys find something, you know, there's no way you've probably tried every vegetable in the world. So try them. Try enough different ones that you can figure out what you can like and what you don't. I'm not telling anybody that you should have to eat things you hate. Like, I mean, I don't love broccoli. I eat broccoli. I don't love it. I don't eat it very often. But now I, I love mushrooms. I eat mushrooms almost every day. You know, so find the things you love and eat those. Okay, but yeah, you do need some kind of vegetables, especially if you're vegan and you're trying to do low carb. You know, it's just the way it is. So uh, I think that was it. I mean, that was the main question was about the vegetables and stuff. So we're on week eight. Everybody's cruising good. So uh, let me know if anybody needs any help with anything. And let me know if you'd like to be in our group. And I'll remember, hopefully, to put the link down below. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good day.